Hey guys, welcome back to Hunting the Unknown, a survival records miniseries where I am chasing down as many of those on this public server as I can. And uh, guys, I'm excited because I found something great. That right there, uranium. Oh, sorry, it got really dark. I'm going to have to put some lights on this thing, I think. But uh, before I start grinding up some of that and processing it, let's go check if I get anything good out of this unknown signal. All right. Ooh, we've got one of these floaty boys here. Control Z. We're dampened to it, and there's the button. A badger drill. All right. Now let's go with a grinder. Oh, loud again. I forgot. Here, let me grind up what I can out of this and. I'll meet you back at the Arrowhead, the Clovis. Alright, so now that I've found a source of uranium, I have a couple of options I need to pursue. One, first of all, is get myself some reactors. And I think what I like is replace the thrusters here, or replace these engines with reactors, maybe? I mean, they all are kind of aesthetically uh, part of the ship, and I had kind of planned on putting them back here. I was going to get in at least two of the reactors. Uh, the way that fuel works, it uh, it doesn't really mm, doesn't really change the, the the functionality. If you have multiple reactors versus one, you're better to have too many reactors than you really need. Uh, but and anyway. It, um, I guess it's just going to be a matter of deciding wh whoa, where I want to put them and keeping an eye out for any signals that pop up. I also have a lot of iron in there right now. So, yeah, lots of iron ore that I snagged on the way out looking for this uranium. Ooh, what do I want to do? Let's queue up at least a couple of reactors in the assembler first. Probably... Oh, I could do come a couple of the small warfare reactors. That'd be cool. Let's do that and see if I have enough of everything to make two of these... Oh, and I actually have to go in here and turn this back on. All right. Well, let's. Uh, huh. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yep. Let's. Uh, let's let that. Uh, let that process and kind of just sit here, uh, point myself towards the sun. Well, guys, some time has passed, and uh, it's, it's actually been a, a day or so. That's the nice thing about this server running in the background, is it will uh, keep going without me being actively logged in. I think I've decided I want to put the reactors here. I'm going to put four of them in total. And, yeah, that'll be... Uh, I think that'll be a good spot for it. And then I can include some additional storage space in here. Add more small containers. I might put another gyro on, actually. Yeah, that, that might be prudent. Anyway, I will uh, spare your eardrums the dismantling here. I run into a slight... Uh, design problem here. The uh, the connection points uh, point, points 
the connection points do not line up correctly. So like that would line up and connect to there, but like not the other way. And everything back here, all those hydrogen, all that, it all feeds off of this connection point here. If I wanted to have them look like that, I might have to do it one further forward and put like connectors in there. Maybe additional cargo containers. That could potentially look good, right? So where is that for? Uh, okay, uh, I'll put those back in there. Let's get this off the build planner. Let's grab a couple of those. Odd, you can't attach that to that. Oh, because there's a reactor component in the way. Okay, and then reactor. Like this. And I suppose that extends it out a little bit more than it was, but not by much. Alright, I like it. Let's, uh, let's get it in there and weld it up. I gotta get a, uh, gotta drop those off there. And pick them up. Apparently I can't Pull out a display and an interior plate. So, all right, I'll fix this up and then bring you guys back. All right. Ooh, still very loud. And there we go. I've unlocked additional blocks by building this reactor. But, you'll notice the reactor is yellow. I don't have any uranium yet. But, now that I have the reactors, I'm going to go ahead and grab myself some uranium. And let it just process for a while. Looks like, uh, grab it from right here. Yeah. This will be, uh, this will be good. Getting a nice solid supply of power. Alright. Let's, uh... Angle into the sun a little bit more. Get some boosting uh, from the solar panel there. I've got two reactors running on that side. One on this side because I hadn't quite finished building up this last one. Come on. There we go. Now the other thing that's annoying is... Ugh, oh, it's so loud. Uh, sorry. The reactors don't necessarily split the uranium amongst them evenly. Uh, let's see. Producing some here, that's fine. I've got stores of the ore, and let's go ahead and grab two of it. And then another two. And that'll at least turn them all on. It'll get them all pulling, so to speak. And the refinery, I am going to go ahead and replace these two power efficiency modules with yield modules, because power is not my limitation at this point. It is as much of the uranium processed as possible. As you can see, I did a pretty decent job of, uh, of digging away at that, but it's surprisingly a uh, very compact ore. It doesn't fill up many... doesn't fill up much of your inventory. Anyway, my... Uh, my assembler has already finished making the two yield efficiency modules. So let's just get into here and replace them. 
All right, well, those yield modules in place, I should should have a decent amount of uranium eh, before too long. I'm going to go ahead and snag a little bit more while I'm here and uh, you know, wait for a good opportunity to go snag another yield module or snag another unknown signal. All right. So, I have a pretty good amount of... Oh, I can't even jump that far. Fine, let's do a blind jump. I was going to say, I have a pretty good amount of uranium ore. And I am going to... Move about 5k. And... Uh, Let's just do this. I'm going to go and let it process and try and find a nearby platinum. Alright. Let's go grab this unknown signal while I'm at it, right? Oh, it's one of these. Let's see. Nope. There we go. And I didn't get anything. Well, hey, I guess I'll get all of the... Oof, all of that. I suppose that's not something to sneeze at, right? Alright. It's been a couple of hours, and I have, you know... 200 something uranium ingots available. I'm just gonna hop back in to where the uh, the atmosphere the atmosphere, the at Wow, why can't I remember the dang word? Asteroid hop into the asteroid just doing a series of small 4k hops because I couldn't be bothered to go in and change the distance to 15k. Uh, anyway, only point I'm doing this is to confirm that the voxels have in fact reset. I guess that they must have, but better safe than sorry. Better, better safe than sorry? Better to check than not check? Aha, and look at that. An unknown signal for me to go and collect. I haven't seen any of the strong unknown signals pop up, so I'm going to go ahead and take care of some other little you know, tasks, quests, however you want to put it. On one hand, I could definitely put effort into collecting platinum to make up a... Oh, uh, yeah, okay. So that is definitely still... Is it still beat up? Oh, yeah. These voxels have not reset. But that's okay, I've got quite a lot to to go for. Now let's let's go grab that unknown signal. Ooh, that's one of the ones that's gonna fly away. very forcefully well, it is going to start moving. Hey, I got a cow helmet. Alright, let's grab this and head back. Now, I figure that if I am going to just be sitting on the server waiting for a un strong unknown signal to pop up, you know, I may as well do it and take care of some economy station missions while I'm at it. Right, where's where's the station? Ah, 
There we go. Now, I don't need that planetary gravity to throw me off. We got we got that other beacon down there, 19 kilometers away. Might be worth heading over there and uh, throwing down a blueprint or a GPS. And another one over that way. See what it is they have available. Now, even if I connect to one of these connectors over here, it's going to uh, deconnect, disconnect me after 15 minutes or something like that. So if you were thinking that you could leave your ship in here uh, safe, well, unfortunately that is not the case. All right, now, first things first, let's deposit the 92,000. Two thousand one extra thing deposit 853 kind of silly you can't just say deposit all all right store and contracts let's see what the store is selling here um <laughs> Components and weapons and ammo. And what could you buy? What would you buy? You'd buy 10 pieces of magnesium powder. 24,000 each. That's a pretty doable. And you'd buy 10 pieces of uranium ingot. Why don't I go ahead and connect to the base here and just see what uh, what all I want to sell cuz I mean I could make some money that could be that could be cool that could be good that could be doable all right we are back at it and we are gonna try and s oh boy mm. That's a little annoying, but I'd have to go through them one at a time, figure out which one is it that has the... magnesium powder that I want to sell. Yeah, there it is. Simple enough, and let me take a look at the rest here, see what I can do. Now, I really don't know if 3 million is going to be enough. Uh, the prices on every server slightly change depending on how much uh, the rates are at. But anyway, I'm going to head to these other beacons and see if any of them are selling ships. If they are, that might be the easiest way for me to acquire a bunch of thruster components so that I can use to upgrade my ship. Hey, and look at that. My jump drive has been re -layer, re replenished, repaired. What is with my tongue being so tied today? Well, they really don't like loading things in unless you're right on top of them, do they? Let's hope this beacon isn't just a dud. Oh, there it is. I'll go land and check out what they're selling. Alright, let's... 
Let's see, we've got more components and weapons and such. But I could make some more money here by selling parts and things I don't need and I'm not using. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and do that. Let's go ahead and figure this part out. So I'm at the CLCS place. And it turns out that there's actually another one, uh, Intergalactic Cartel, too far from here. A little ways back in the direction. So let's check what this one has, and then I'll check what the next one has. Hey, here we go. Now this, I think, could be a decent way of acquiring some more thrusters. Although, goodness, 40 million. Oy vey. <laughs> okay, 40 million for a basic space pod that has no bells and whistles beyond it has ion thrust. 438 million for a red cruiser. Wow. All right. Well, maybe I have to rethink my, uh, my little plan here. What are they buying? They're buying components. Hmm. Oh, that's a uh, that's a person. I suspect they're sleeping in a bed. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess this is maybe a way they think they can stay logged out inside. I generally don't worry about that. I expect to be uh, needing to respawn every time. Alright, well, if I am, in fact, going to need another 37 million, what are the... high-paying contracts here. 316 silver ingots. Uh, fine. I'll accept that one. Has it been deleted or already accepted by someone else? What? How about refresh? What's this one? There. That. I'm going to finish the Clovis inventory. Confirm. Two million. All right. Well, I mean, that's a... Uh, that's a bit of work, I guess, but I could chip away at it while I wait for unknown signals to, uh, to populate. You know what? If I'm just going to be sitting and waiting, waiting for this strong unknown signal to show up, I may as well wait while I'm processing some platinum ore. So, yeah. One of those first few asteroids I found way back when. One that has the platinum. Let's see if I can find some of that and, uh, you know, get a bit in my hold. Unfortunately, this, uh, this bit of platinum is way inside of here, and I had to dig out quite a lot in order to get down to it. But hopefully taking a couple of bites at it like this will be sufficient. And now, this other one I found, however, does not have the same problem. So, let's, uh, let's get some more platinum. You know what? That's starting to look quite, uh, quite chewed up. Alright, so let's take a look how much platinum 
do I have? Oh, 38,000, 10,000, 11, 19, 11, uh, a little bit, 6, 3, 40, 40, 5, yeah. All right. That's a lot of platinum. And I've got all yield modules, and I've got uranium, and I've got reactors. I can just sit here and let it run, let it run for a few days. But... You know what? I kind of wanted to, um, I mean, the whole point of this was to get some special things. So let me show y'all something you can do that you may not realize you can do. If you go to recycling and you have show only duplicates, then it'll pull up all the things that you've collected that you have duplicates of. You already, you, you, it keeps one of them, right? So, this cow helmet I found earlier, I am going to, uh, what's the dang button for recycling it? Ah, you want to right click it. Recycle item for one token. And you go through this and you get yourself a bunch of tokens. And you'll see I have... I have ten tokens right there. So, you'll notice here my skeleton drill. My extra skeleton drill. So, like, I have it opened like this. You can see I've got two of them. But it's a green one. It recycles for five tokens. So anyway, now that I have all those done, I wanted to use the tokens, and you can craft common items for 4 tokens, or you can craft an uncommon item for 20. I'm kind of looking for, like, uh, usual, unusual tokens. They need 100 for an unusual item. Yeah, so. Oh, well. Am I wearing the right helmet here? Metallic. There we go. Ah, yes. The recycle tokens are the items I got. But anyway, that's why you'll see that on the Steam Marketplace, some people are purchasing those tokens. Because... Or, not tokens. They'll purchase, like, random things. Random uh, cow welders and whatnot. It's because they want to be able to recycle them themselves in order to get a more unusual token. Unusual item. Well, guys, unfortunately, it is now too late to, uh, to keep waiting. I haven't seen a single strong unknown signal. So I'm going to head back here, get myself tucked away into uh, no man's land and you know wait for all that platinum to uh, refine wait for all that uranium to refine I'll uh, make sure I'm pointing at the sun so at least once every couple hours I get some solar power as well just in case but you know what I think that'll do it for me for today so hey Thank you for watching this episode of Survival Records, Hunting the Unknown. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching.